So, uh, Virginia, 34, Louisville, 33. I wanted to hit on this because Louisville seemed like they had this game uh, ready to roll. And and just... <laughs> 21 to 3 in the fourth quarter for Virginia. Louisville came out and scored 20 points in the third quarter. That won, won that quarter 20 to nothing. And this was just back and forth. I mean, just incredible football. Virginia, the way that they have shifted their offensive philosophy, they are throwing the football all over the place. Brennan Armstrong, which you would have never convinced me that he was going to be like a massive, massive quarterback. And 40 out of 60, 487 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. And Virginia only had 35 yards rushing on 25 attempts. Like, it's Bronco Mendenhall knows we don't have the dudes to be able to run the football. So we're just going to shift the game plan, and we're just going to throw it every time. Sure. And and it works. Like, Well, it works against teams like Louisville. I mean, it works yeah. against teams that can't play defense that we, when you go one-dimensional. But, but so what are tough. What are the expectations, you know, with with the Cavs? Like, I, the the Wahoos, oh, no, I don't, a lot. Like, yeah, no, it's you know it's a great thing. I'm just so like my LSU Tigers are one dimensional. Also, we can't run the football; we just throw the ball. But it did, in the SEC, you get killed. In the ACC, eh, no big deal, no biggie. Like find a way to make it work. Uh, Malik Cunningham yeah. played pretty well in a loss: seventeen out of twenty five, two hundred seventy yards. My, that's my guy too, man. I think this kid is really special. I like watching him play a lot. I just find him likable, and I think he's a great leader. I don't think that team is good. Will Satterfield stay there long enough to build around him? And and because it ain't often you're gonna have a special quarterback now. No, you're you're not wrong about and I that. I think he's uh, special. The rest of that team not very special. He's a he's a junior, so he's got like one year. He's he's you know from Montgomery, Alabama. Does he? I, I don't. I, I think that he'll stick around for his senior season. I don't think he's oh, a, a yeah, threat for think... uh, Hassan Hall. By the way, Louisville running back, fourteen carries, one hundred sixty-two yards, averaged eleven point six a clip with one touchdown. Just ridiculous. So Tyler Harrell, by the way, four. Uh, sorry, two receptions for a hundred yards with one touchdown. He had a ninety-two yard touchdown in this game. Pretty awesome. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.